the the schools I think were not dissimilar and so you did the first three years um, and we did architectural history painting drawing and so on and we came I think further with that um, time dealing with the um, painting and so on going and then in the fourth year and fifth year at Melbourne University we, we were I think probably better people to draw with because we'd had mentored by um, uh, the, the art school at RMIT. On the other hand there were very good theoretical um, history people, planning people and so on and that was a more expansive thing in at uh, Melbourne University. Mm. I so thought it was a very enriched facility for, for two things and then subsequently I think in terms of about a decade on and was trying to get a job in London let's say uh, I didn't feel that I was underdone. In London I found uh, Chamberlain, Powell and Bon and we worked there for two years, three years and we would take off in six like at Easter and travel through Europe down to down to Greece, Morocco, Spain uh, just looking at, and, uh, and, and finding what what architecture was about in, in European model. Uh, sometime later uh, we went to America and then went to New York and uh, a New York architect um, found a job for me at Yale at, uh, with Paul Rudolph who was the uh, senior uh, academic at uh, Yale. So that was good. Well after m my time away uh, there was uh, Kevin was had an office next door to the office that I ultimately got to, and we we were very much enthused as a Kevin Borland was, and uh, he was the leader, and I was really the person that was his, his uh, uh, I suppose understudy, and through that piece of work uh, we joined together. Yeah, there was a, four terrace houses in Parlett Street, East Melbourne and so uh, we had a back office and Kevin had an upstairs office and there were four, four people of, of, of architects and it was a really good um, grouping because if you could swap people, if you had a big job you could pull two or three people into the job and so I had two people working with me and then mar married Kevin's two people, and so there were four. Yeah, Kevin and uh, Evan and I were um, joined at RMIT in, at the first flag of 1954, and so we'd kept um, very good mates, and he'd taken a journey to Canada, and so. Uh, to deal with a master's class. So he'd come back in 64 and uh, so we had um, 10 years after we'd just <laughs> met each other and we, we took up a um, uh, the back room as well and so we were uh, joined the hip you say. And there was a Canberra School of Music, which is really one of the very significant buildings of the time. We also dealt with red brick in Melbourne. We were not doing it all at once. And Lauriston Girls School, and that was a very early school uh, for me to, to, to gain. And so uh, we went then to into educational um, work. Yes, it is, and and it's it's a form that you can see that the uh, 
the pressure of, of building and without manufacturing something slick or positive. It's a, mat it's a matrix of, of, of concrete and so it, it tells you the story of the building.